Today, a Rutherford County judge denied a plea deal for a Smyrna massage therapist accused for sexually assaulting almost a dozen women at his day spa. It's a decision nobody saw coming. One of those women spoke up in court today about an incident that happened to her five years ago. This story we first told you about in 2016, and today our crew was the only one in the courtroom. News Force Marissa Sulik reports why the judge says this former therapist needs to spend time in jail. When massage therapist Marco Rigo walked into the courtroom inside the Rutherford County Courthouse here this morning, he thought he was going to get off on a plea deal. But that all changed thanks to the power of one victim's statement. Today inside a Rutherford County courtroom, Danielle Kendall says this was the last day former massage therapist Marco Rigo would force her to do something she didn't want to do. Remember the day he sexually assaulted her. For the past five years, you have inserted yourself into mine and my family's life like an intrusive parasite. It happened in February 2016. Danielle and her husband went for a couple's massage at the Adoro Bay Spa in Smyrna. Danielle says that's when Rigo sexually assaulted her. Marco Rigo touched me in places no professional has ever come close to touching. I had never been so violated in all of my life. She says she called police immediately after she left, but no arrest was made for an entire year. I would drive by that spa for nearly a year and see Marco Rigo's car in the parking lot. For the past five years, Danielle says she feared she would see him in town. But today's plea deal, she would acknowledge. I'm not pleased with the deal that I am agreeing to today. But after Danielle's final plea, the judge acknowledged her. I'm not going to accept this plea agreement. Uh, it amounts to 18 months of probation. Uh, there will be no jail time at all. That means Rigo will go to trial, a decision Danielle never saw coming. It took a while for it to like, like the words to really register, to really sink in. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. But for Danielle, nothing is harder than reliving her story these past five years. The next trial is now set for May 27th with a new judge here in Rutherford County. I'm Marissa Sulek, News 4 Nashville.